Today we're going to learn how to set up a field with an FM750. So I've turned on my FM750 and it brings me to a blank screen here. I can see over here my field button's highlighted green. So I'm, I'm pulling into my field right now. I hit my field button. And it says, do I want to create a new one or select an old field? So I'm going to create a new field. It's highlighted green. I hit the check mark. And it asked me my pattern type. So if I hit my pattern type, it's going to give me a bunch of options. If I want to go straight back and forth, if I want to use A plus for if the heading I want to go, if I want to do identical curve, if I want to do a pivot or a headland or free form. So I'm going to go up here and hit straight A, B, hit my check mark. And then it's going to ask me my implement setup. So I'm going to go into implement setup. You can see that my implement set at 48 feet. I can go in here and change it to whatever I want, feet and inches. Press my check mark. Overlap and skip. If I'm running on a WAS system, I run my overlap at four to six inches, um, just so I know I don't skip anything. My right to left offset. If I have a, if I have a drift or a draft in my implement, I can put that on. Um, forward back offset, how far it sits behind me. Um, my hitch to ground contact point. What this does is help you set where your paint, where your coverage line is going to actually be. If I set this at zero, it's going to steer my tractor straight, not my implement. I want to. I don't care how straight my tractor drives. I want to know how well my implement pulls because that's what's that's what's happening. Whether I'm disking or I'm planting, that's what that's what's taking that's what's doing the work. The tractor is just just making me go up and down the field. So I want to put where my implement actually is, and it will steer my tractor so my implement stays straight. So once I have all that set up, I press the check mark. Uh, I've got my pattern type and my implement set up. This asks if I want to record a boundary. Um, if you've been in the field before and you've got a boundary recorded, great. If you use the software FarmWorks and, and record your boundary and put it in here, it's already going to be here. So you can play, say yes or no here. If you've already got the boundary, I always say no. Um, client, farm, and field. Uh, this is where we fill out uh, what we who we're doing work for, where it's at, and what the field is, and the event. If I leave this as all default client and default farm, that folder fills up so after I get it so full it won't let me put any more in so when I go into client I go in and I I choose one of these so I'm going to create a new one and hit my check mark and I can put in what I want so I'm going to put in um, the client is Brian and hit the check mark and now my client's Brian so now it's opened a new folder so I can stick a bunch of stuff in there um, so say I'm going out to disc again on a field that I've already disc. If, if my event still the same event as last time, my same coverage lines are going to pull up. If I don't want to see my coverage lines, but I still want my AB line, then I'll put in like disc one or disc two, make it a different name. And then my coverage lines will go away, but my AB lines will still be there. So I'm going to go into here, go next. This is for record keeping. If I want to put an operator, if it's not me, if it's somebody else in there, um, just some stuff that I can I can gain some data after after I'm done. And I hit my check mark, and now I'm in. So now I go through the field. I hit my A mark where I want to go, and it tells me I have to drive at least 30 feet. I drive usually to the end of the field. Hit my B mark, and now my AB is set up to go.